What's up campers? I am stoked to show you the brand new 2024 Sunset Park 149 Sport. This is with the Elite package that comes with that electric awning, the solid steps, and everything else that we love. Let's check out this camper, and as always, let me know what you think. All right, first thing I wanna do is make sure I'm level. Make sure the battery disconnect switch is on so I can raise my power tongue jack. Turn that on. Now I wanna go around and lower my stabilizer jacks at each corner. A huge hit so far this year has been the electric awning now offered on the 149. It is an armless, hands-free awning, pops right open with the push of a button, and it looks sweet. It's a lot easier than that old bag awning. Okay, let's go over this camper. This camper comes with a power tongue jack right up front with the light and the power lift. It comes with the two inch ball for the coupler, the seven pin round wiring with the electric brakes and a breakaway brake. Comes with two 20 pound propane tanks with a propane cover. This one's prepped and ready to go for a customer so it has a battery battery box. And here's a disconnect switch for the battery system. Green is on, red is off. At each corner we have stabilizer jacks, four all the way around. Now going over onto the side, we'll start with our water heater. This is a six gallon gas water heater. All we do is push a button on the inside to turn it on and off. On each corner we have our running lights. Those ones run only off running lights. We have four windows all the way around. Right here is our vent for our AC, our roof rack, a walkable roof up top, a 100 watt solar panel, and right here is our ladder on the go lipper bracket. I butchered that. Down here is going to be our outside shower with hot and cold water with our sprayer. Next to that is going to be our power plug plug and our black tank flush. Flush out that toilet, just make sure you open your drains before you start flushing. Down below is our dump station. This is for our toilet or sewage. Coaxial cable for cable or satellite. Off-road tires and lift package. Now we're getting into our dump station for our drains, which is our gray. Those are shower drains and sink drains. Here's our pass-through storage. Hello. Right here's our fresh water tank and some of our gear that's inside of there. Over on the corner, we have our water, city water connection when we're going to the campgrounds. And then our fresh water connection when we're going off-grid, need to fill that tank and use that water pump. Right here is our fire escape window. It's in the bed area. There's our luggage door holder, AKA noggin saver. On the back, we have this square bumper, which we can store things inside. We also have our spare tire here. Right above the spare tire, we have our brake lights, and in that center brake light is wired for a backup camera. Now, let's get up on that roof so I can show you what that solar panel looks like. Up here, we've got that 100 watt solar panel. I clean mine with warm water and a microfiber cloth. Beyond that, we have a couple vents and the receiver. Over on the porch side, we have our other pass-through storage. Goes all the way across, hello. 
You can also see the door for the underbed access. Our other window. And here's the electric awning. Gutter system, porch light. Right here's our hood vent. You gotta make sure we open that thing up when we're using that cooking inside so it can actually exhaust. Make sure we're closing it so the bugs don't get in. There is a vent for the inside. 120 power, 110 power right here. Furnace exhaust and outside propane connection. On this camper, it comes with a two solid step step to get in. Oh, plus it comes with this nice screen door that nobody seems to be able to get into. Something as simple as a little round knob and nobody gets it. But these people won't be bothering me because I can't get into my camp. As soon as we walk in, we'll see that we have a little door here for storage underneath the bench seat. This dinette does flip right into a bed if we want it to, which I'll show you at the end. Underneath there's plugs. And behind the other bench we have a little shelf unit that we can store things. We have windows above both benches and windows above the bed. There's our 5000 BTU air conditioner, our 12 volt fridge switch, we can turn it on and off, and USBs that can plug in and run off from our battery. Here is our 12 volt fridge with double doors, so we have that nice big freezer and the nice big fridge. Again, it runs off battery. Carbon monoxide detector, fuse box with the auto detect that you can switch between lithium, AGM, or lead acid. Next to that, shows that we're ready for a TV and all prepped. All these lights have a spot that we can turn them on and off in the center. We have a 12 volt fan directly overhead in the center of the trailer. We can always upgrade that to a max air fan or fantastic fan if we want. And now we're heading into the wet bath, which consists of the toilet, a shower area, the skylight, a light, shower bar, and the sprayer with hot and cold water. Outside of that, right in the back of the trailer, we have our full-size bed with windows on both sides. Our easy access for the pass-through storage underneath. And our overbed storage with two cabinet doors. Now, over into the kitchen area, we have our overhead cabinet with a Bluetooth speaker. Our microwave. Our hood with a fan and a vent, our sink, right there is going to be our thermostat, 110 outlets, and USB plugs. Now we're going into our two burner stove with the stove top cover. Down below that, we get into a couple of storage cabinet doors. over into our heater blower and our drawer above that. We have our fire extinguisher right at the entrance of the camper. And now let's get into our master control panel and go over that. First and foremost, we have our main light switch. This is going to be for our awning light. The main switch does all of our interior lights. The awning light does the LED strip third light does the amber porch light and we have our water heater and our water pump switch above that we have our levels for our battery gray tanks fresh tanks and black tanks here's how we open and close the awning and then we have our solar charge controller that's tell us telling us what we're drawing what we're bringing in what we're battery percentage is at and what the temperature is at. That is the Sunset Park 149. Now let's show you how to work the dinette. Let's turn this dinette into our temporary bed. First thing we want to do is pop this tabletop off. Our 
All right. Both legs are off. Nicely take them and store them somewhere. We're going to store them underneath the bed for right now. Next, take the tabletop, put the cutout corner on the inside. Then there's going to be two support pieces of wood right here. You want to set the table onto those two pieces of wood supports. All right, just like that. Now take our cushion backs and bring those down in and that makes our temporary bed, okay? Now let's go back into the table so you can see how easy it is. Take our cushion backs, put those in, grab the tabletop, flip it over, grab our table legs. I always put them into the floor first because it does seem to be easier. Tabletop, corner on the one hard side it is to squeeze in, okay? Match them up underneath, and now we're in. And just so you know what this is for, that's so I can easily squeeze in. This is a dinette and how you turn it back and forth into a bed slash table. Hey, I hope you like the brand new Sunset 149. I hope you guys are liking the new equipment that I got to make these a little bit nicer and a little bit smoother videos for us. If you like these videos, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button and keep on coming back for my weekly uploads. If you want to support the channel, check out my Patreon page as well. Thanks for coming everybody. See you next week. Well, that was a fun video, wasn't it? See you all next week.